What's up guys, Name Code Dustin here, Fantasy Smack Talk. In this video, we're gonna be going over those starting pitchers, tiers one through five, giving you the guys with the good K counts, the good ERA, the good win totals. Dustin, start off with our overall number one pitcher. You know, it was unanimous for us over here, Fantasy Smack Talk. We like Clayton Kershaw as our number one guy. He's only 24 years old. He may not have even hit his ceiling yet. The Ks are there, the wins are there. What, what can't you like about him? Next, Verlander, very close second. It's really kind of 1A, 1B. He's still in his 20s. 24 wins last year with that added pop in the lineup. He should be doing that again this year. And you can't forget about Roy Holiday. He is 35, but he's still doing it, and he should win a lot of games for the Phillies. Tier 2 starts off with Felix Hernandez. You know, this guy's only 26 years old, so there's still upside. He pitched great last year. He's going to give you a ton of Ks. He even had 14 wins on a terrible Seattle team. At number 5, we got Cliff Lee in his first year back with the Phillies. He lived up to all expectations, had a 2.4 ERA and a whip right around 1. Next on the list, we got Tim Lincecum. You know, kind of a disappointing year two years in a row for this guy, because some consider him to be the best overall pitcher in the game. And you know, it's kind of crazy to say that considering he had an ERA under three, and he's getting a K per, he's getting basically a K per inning. But the main problem he's had is his control in terms of walks. He had 86 a season ago. Next on the list, we got Jared Weaver. This guy's just solid across the board. He's gonna be 30 year old this year. He had 18 wins a season ago, a 2.41 ERA and a whip right around one. And rounded out this tier, you got CC Sabathia. You know, out there with the Yankees, he's certainly gonna get plenty of opportunities for wins and you know you're getting the strikeouts with him. Cole Hamill starts out tier three. One of the few starting pitchers last year to have a sub one whip. Decent K counts, decent win totals out there with the Phillies. We expect another solid year if he can stay healthy. Moving down at number 10, we got David Price. Pretty solid year last year. You know, this guy had a lot of hype all the way through his career. He's, fine. He's definitely starting to live up to it over the last couple of years. About a K per inning. Hopefully that win total can go up for him this year. At number 11, we got Gallardo, one of the best strikeout pitchers in the league. You know, hopefully he can get his whip down a little bit, which will obviously help his ERA. But this guy has some nasty stuff. He should have a solid year. And the last guy in this tier is the big question mark himself, Steven Strasburg. We know what this guy can do. Great pitcher. We'll see how he does in spring training. A couple of issues though, he's probably going to be monitored very closely. Might be on an innings count, but the upside is there. This guy's amazing when healthy. Hopefully his elbow can get back to 100%. And number 13, we have Dan Heron. He certainly had a very solid year a season ago. His K per inning count isn't the best, but the thing you got to love about him in 238 innings, he only had 33 walks, so this guy's got sick control. Next, at number 14, we got John Lester. This is a guy that doesn't have that great of control, and that's why he struggled a little bit. He had 75 walks a season ago, but he plays on a Red Sox team that's certainly going to give him plenty of opportunities for wins. Then we got Yu Darvish. Love this guy coming over from Japan. He was ridiculous out there. We really think his arm and the pitch array that he has is going to translate very well to the bigs. Then next on the list, we got Madison Bumgarner. This is a 23-year-old that had a stellar second half. We figure he's going to pick up right where he left off a season ago. Then rounding out this tier, we got Zach Granke. A lot of people might be watching this video thinking we got him a little too low. He kind of included me, but I was overruled at the ranking summit. But why I was told, and you got you know, to put some stock into this, everyone else is talking about their second half and how great he did. But you can't totally discount the first half because Zach granke has been a pretty inconsistent pitcher throughout his career. So there is risk-reward going with him. Let's move into Tier 5. A lot of guys in this tier, so let's get cracking. First one, Pineda. The newest Yankee. Pineda was almost unhittable at times last year. This big guy looked really good, but then at other times he looked just kind of okay. You know, it's, it's hard to tell what's going to happen with him in New York. Obviously, the potential's there. He should get more run support, so he's definitely worth a gamble in the middle rounds. Next, we got Tommy Hansen. He just had a concussion recently driving on the way to the stadium. So definitely monitor that. Obviously, we've seen some concussions linger for some players, but if there's no major symptoms coming back from that, we love this guy's upsides. K counts are amazing. And number 20, James Shields. Kind of an uncharacteristic year for him last year. Really came into his, home, into his own, but a sub-3 ERA, solid K counts. Great year overall for Shields last year. At number 21, everyone's favorite sleeper, Matt Moore. We love him too. What's not to like? The guy's 23 years old. He was a beast in the minors. He pitched really great in the majors for the short period of time that he was up last year. They've announced he's not going to have a, lim a, a limit for his innings. 
Everything's pointing way up for this guy. Definitely top tier potential for him. Moving down at 22, we got Matt Kane. He's just slowly been getting a little bit better throughout the years. At this point, he's a solid pitcher. If he can get his K counts up, he could even be up in one of tiers two or tiers three, but this guy does have potential. Solid across the board. At 23, we got Adam Wainwright. We'll see how he comes back from his injury. We all know what he did before the injury. The guy was amazing. Hopefully, he can come back and be close to 100%. Worth a gamble in the middle rounds. And the last guy we're going to talk about in this video is my boy, Neftali Feliz. I've been waiting for him for two years now to go up into the rotation. I'm excited about it. I think he's got a lot of potential. I think he's going to do really well, and I think you should definitely target him in the middle rounds. So there you go, that's tiers one through five. Be sure to check out our next video, tiers six through 10. Makes sense, right? And, and then also go ahead, check out all of our other positional tiers and rankings, our videos, our top 100 cheat sheet. Any questions, post them in the form. Follow us on Twitter at Fantasy Advice. And like our Facebook page. We're all over the internet. Don't let me down, Neftali. I'm counting on you.